Hey, welcome, guys. I'm just going to jump straight into the training because I know you guys want to know all about Browsio IA and exactly how to use it. Just a very quick explanation. The reason why it's taken so long to get the first videos out is um, I was really waiting for this major update in the automation um, to be released. And I have it here. You don't have it yet, but you will have it in this update that we're just testing and about to release with a whole bunch of extra iMacros as well for everyone, those in the in the automation club and those that aren't in the automation club. So there's something for everyone in this update. Pretty awesome. Okay, so the two places where you can automate within Browsio are Firefox here and the Browsio IA module that you all already know about. Um, and I just want to just make make this video for people coming in that don't know about it. Um, and and I'm sure a lot of you who already have Browsio haven't even jumped into the automation yet, simply because we haven't had. Um, you know, real focused videos and training because there are so many changes. Um, but I'm just going to jump straight in um, and explain to you how how and where everything is. The next videos are going to go and cover exactly how the scripts work. OK, so the two places are here. You click the little Browsio logo and you have scripts and Browsio IA scripts. These Browsio IA scripts are the scripts that are for everyone um, that everyone gets from us. Um, from Browsio, every update you'll get any kind of fixes that are needed, um, new logins that we have, you know, that, that, that might, that have been requested. Um, but we're not really going to be using and adding on a regular basis to the Browsio IA scripts, the built-in ones. These are the built-in ones that everyone has, everyone has access to, although we will be updating them as and when is needed. Okay, these scripts are your own personal scripts that you get made, that you get commissioned. If you have anyone that makes iMacros, if you know how to make iMacros, then you can go ahead and just drop your iMacros into this folder here and you have access to them. And also, if you, ha if you have a um, membership to the iMacros club, this is where the iMacros Club script goes. So um, this is a script that was just dropped in that I have that I created. And here is the iMacro Club script. So there's a lot of scripts that um, are, are, are brought out on a monthly basis, um, everything from logins to signups. And we're going to have signups to all of the. Um, so, for example, you know, in the iMacros Club, you have logins to all of the IFTT recipes. Next thing coming, we're going to also be supporting signups for all of the IFTT recipes. Um, and then we're going to be actually and, and the different the main difference is in the iMacros Club is when you're part of the iMacros Club. Um, not only do you get these scripts, but you also get the support for all of these scripts on a regular basis. So if anything ever changes and um, we go ahead and update all of them, um, we update them for you so that you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to you don't need a developer or anything. That's the greatest part of being in part of the iMacro club is that if you don't know anything about iMacros, um, you just get five macros every single month um, that you can use to multiply your marketing, your SEO, your social media marketing, whatever it is that you're doing, make things a little bit more efficient, give you back a lot more time and allow you to spend more time on, you know, traffic generating strategies and that sort of thing, as opposed to logins and signing up and all that boring kind of stuff that should be automated. Um, all right. So the Browsio IA tab is exactly this, only for more than one profile. And I'm going to explain how everything works in the Browsio IA tab in a separate video altogether. As you can see, there's a lot going on here. And I'll explain it all in another video just dedicated to Browsio IA. Um, but the difference, the, uh, the main thing you should know is if you're wondering, um, Browsio IA is where you automate everything. Right. So and I'm going to go through everything in another video. All right. So I'm going to end this video here and we're going to jump straight into Browsio IA and how everything works in Browsio IA in the next video. All right. See you there.